evaluate limits. x minus 4 divided by square root of x minus 2 where x approaches 4. So we need to find limit of this function. If I substitute 4 then I get 4 minus 4 which is 0. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So it is of the form 0 over 0. 0 over 0 is meaningless. We say it is indeterminate and so we need to apply some techniques to further find the limit. Simple substitution of 4 did not solve our problem. Now in this particular example I will share with you three different techniques. Okay, let me just divide it like this. Now the first one is rationalization. Second one will be variable substitution. And the third one is our factoring technique, right, which we are experts on. These are the three techniques which I will apply. The first one, rationalization, is the most recommended for such examples. Okay, now let's see how to rationalize and get the answer. So we have limit as x approaches 4 for x minus 4 divided by square root of x minus 2. Now to rationalize, what should you do? You have to multiply and divide by conjugate, right, of this function. Okay, so it is square root of x plus 2 divided by square root of x plus 2. So in this case, what are we rationalizing? We are rationalizing the denominator, right. At times, you may have to rationalize numerator. It all depends where is that radical part correct so now let's rationalize remember when you rationalize you are rationalizing denominator and therefore expand denominator it is a minus b times a plus b that is a square minus b square that gives you square root x square is x and 2 square is 4 x minus 4 in the numerator we already have x minus 4 as one of the factors and the second one is square root x plus 2, right? Now, as you can see, we can cancel the common factors from numerator and denominator, thereby simplifying the expression. And now it is square root of x plus 2. Now, applying the laws of the limits, this is sum of two limits, so we can just substitute x as 4 and calculate the answer. So we have square root of 4 plus 2. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2, the answer is 4 for us. So that is a preferred method of doing it since it is kind of simple and most of the square root functions can be rationalized. Now let us see how to apply variable substitution method in this case. So for variable substitution, let us substitute square root of x as u. In that case, what will x be equal to? x will be equal to u square, correct? So first is about the variable, now the limits. As x approaches 4, let me write 4 clearly, what happens to u? u approaches square root of 4, which is 2, right? So u approaches 2. So with this variable substitution, the question gets transformed. We can now write our question as limit of, instead of x, I have to write u square, right? u square minus 4. 4 is 2 squares. So let me write 2 square. Square root of x is u, so that's a new variable, minus 2. How about the limit? Limit, instead of x, we have to use u. u is our main part in the function and u approaches 2 as x approaches 4. So this is the function now. So we transform the function by using variable. Now the numerator is difference of squares so we can factor it right. So we have limit u approaches 2 and I can write numerator as u plus 2 times u minus 2. 
denominator is u minus 2, right? They cancel out. And now I can substitute 2 and get the answer. So we get 2 plus 2 as equal to 4. So we get the same answer by variable substitution, a very effective technique which can be used for most of the indeterminate cases, right? Factoring. Well, some of you who are really experts on factoring can easily see that I can factor x minus 4. I could write this as square root of x whole square minus 2 square, right? x is square root of x whole square, right? And we have square root of x minus 2. Now, a square minus b square. So we can say limit x approaches 4. Numerator should be square root of x plus 2 times square root of x minus 2 divided by square root of x minus 2. And these two factors cancel. So I can substitute 4 here. So I get square root of 4 plus 2, which is 2 plus 2, which is indeed 4. Same as. So we have three different techniques which can help us solve limits problems, right? So that is what is important to understand. For you questions, you can find limit of function x. And let me write some function now, very similar to what we have, x minus 9. And that is square root of x minus 3. And of course, this number should be what? 9 minus 9 is 0 like this right so you can apply the same techniques and practice solving similar questions right i hope that helps thank you and all the best